Warrior. It is a Chinese movie in modern times revolve around the special ops group of the Chinese that's inside of a special ops group. This is what I got from the show, uh, movie. Um, it, it does not have any captions in it, uh, so it's completely in um, Chinese. And um, I had to find the caption option on my Apple device, um, which really helped a lot. And I wouldn't have liked this movie as much. Um, just a heads up, there will be spoilers. So, despite it, I got in the captions on there. I was still having issues following along somewhat, but I got most of the gist of it. And, um, well, I actually did kind of get more than just the gist of it i got a lot but still there's some stuff and parts i missed because i the reading the typing the reading was uh so fast so i'm a little slow at uh, reading um but it is about a drug lord who sends a bunch of what i guess are australian or white um, cause there's white guy, there's an Asian guy, and then there's a black guy and they're all mercenaries and they're all going after this guy who is, who just joined the special ops group. He's a spe uh, special ops sniper for the Chinese government. And, um, I don't recognize, I mean, I recognize the guy, but I don't recognize his name. Um, he's been in these kind of foreign films, these small budget films, and that's what it was—a small budget. The special uh, um, effects in here were definitely laughable. However, the story was really good. The characters were—you know—I liked the characters; they were pretty good. Um, the acting, so-so here and there. Um, there definitely was a lot of. Uh, of uh weird parts um kind of borderline dumb like unrealistic um the part where he's running through a minefield and they're just blown up a uh, seconds after he got behind him and the fact that he stepped on a mine and then he jumped off of it and it blew up as soon as he jumped off and he was over this uh incline or not incline but this uh kind of very short um, cliff kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to call it cliff, but that's all I know what it's called. Um, the the knife fights in here were great. The action was great. Uh, there was a lot of story to it. Um, the the whole idea of special uh, these mercenaries going into the middle of this country where they're having all like a hundred special ops teams uh go against each other for uh training um was this it was this this has to be the stupidest part of this movie uh but the movie wasn't stupid um the special acts like i said are, are were pretty fake um but the story of what's really picks it up and, and it's really good the action, there's a lot of shooting in here and a lot of action. Some martial arts. I was expecting way more martial arts in here. There was more of it towards the end, but that was about it. A lot of drop kicks and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I, I surprisingly, despite not fully knowing what's going on, actually did love this movie. Now, would I pref suggest you watch it? The problem is, like I said in the beginning, there's no captions at all. It would have been a lot better if they uh, made more, put captions in here. Um, unfortunately, they didn't. Not everyone's going to have a device they can watch this on that's going to have captions. So I can't really say that I suggest it. Um, I did really, duly, really did and love the movie. Um, it has, despite its flaws and stuff, I thought it was very interesting and I strongly rec, uh, I'm looking forward to the second sequel, which originally I came across on another film. Um, yeah, I mean, I give this three and a half out of five stars, uh, believe it or not. And, um, you know, I, again, I look forward to seeing the sequel. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what do you think of this movie? Have you heard of it? Have you seen it? 
Um, I am definitely going to be doing the second one and definitely will be doing or trying to get into more of these foreign films. I would not watch this again because of the lack of uh, captions. Um, and I won't be doing any other films that have lack of captions. And I'm kind of hesitant towards caption uh, movies because um, they tend to go read real fast and stuff like this did. And, you know, but whatever. So if you have a suggestion of a, a movie that's been around at least from now to 10 years back, let me know and I'll, I'll maybe I'll check out. I'll we'll watch the trailer and see if I'm interested in it. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, stay safe, everyone, and um, skull.